welcome to PC Woods Kids Tech Talk. Well, today I thought I'd show you this new PDF reader, Foxit 4.3. It's a better alternative to the Adobe's Acrobat reader, basically. I, I really have a beef with the Adobe Acrobat reader. It just uses more memory, it's annoying in its auto updates. I just hate it. So I went looking around, tested a whole bunch of different readers for PDF files. This one is the best one that I could find and I'm really happy with it. So Foxit Software basically created this free reader. I downloaded it, it's for Windows, and I installed it. Okay, so I went through the installation steps. Here I'm showing you how it's done. Simple, straightforward, just make a note, disable this uh, search bar that they uh, try to put in there because if you don't it's going to add it see how it added it here as an example then you'll have to go into tools add-ons in Firefox and then uninstall it if you accidentally installed it okay that's the only thing you have to be careful of when you install free apps other than that there's no ads nothing cluttering it's clean intuitive easy to use and that's what I like not only that it uses less memory than the Adobe Acrobat Reader so that is key now taking a look here after I installed it, I launched it, I opened up a PDF file which I had already on my machine of course to show you guys how it looks. It basically looks almost like the Adobe Acrobat Reader. So if you're familiar with the Adobe Acrobat Reader and you're comfortable with that, this is no different. It's going to feel almost the same. However, I find it much easier to use. It's you, you can feel that it's much more lightweight and also I'll show you in a second it uses actually about five to seven megs of memory less than the Adobe Acrobat Reader. It has all the same types of tools here that you would need on the uh, bar at the top so you can see that you can uh, zoom in, zoom out, uh, you're gonna be able to search and replace, copy, find links, comments, things like that, snapshots, you know all of the the stuff that you would expect in a um, in a reader, in a PDF reader, is available here. So why are we going to Adobe and why are we getting the Adobe stuff which is using more memory, it's it's got this uh, auto update which is annoying, popping up all the time and you have to disable. Uh, this is straightforward, it's clean and it works. And that's why I thought I'd make a video and show it to you guys because it's definitely something worth getting. Okay, If you're going to be looking for something that you need for everyday use, to um, look at PDF files and save PDF files, then this is this is it. And as you can see here, about 28 megs is what it's using, compared to uh, about 35 megs if you use the Adobe Acrobat Reader. Okay, so I hope you uh, guys try it out. Let me know what you think, and thank you for watching.